Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to the stream. Um, I am DJ. I'm one of the community managers here at Tiny Build, and I'm joined by two of our other community managers. So say hello. First of all, Tina. Hi, Tina. Hi, everybody. I'm also a community manager uh, here at Tiny Build, and it's my first time joining one of these live streams. I'm super excited. And also, first playthrough through uh, Not For Broadcast, so that's pretty exciting. <laughs> And we're also joined by Shanice. Hello, Shanice. Hello, hello, hello. I'm Shanice. I'm the social media manager here at Tiny Build. And yeah, this is also my first playthrough. So it's going to be an experience. Um, I can't wait. And I am terrified. So <laughs> th this is going to be fun. I have played this game before, quite extensively, in fact. So I, I know all about what's going on, whereas these two literally don't have a clue what they're in for in any way shape or form um so i'm going to be controlling the game um however these two are going to be making all of the decisions um so whenever a choice comes up i'm going to be letting them uh decide what it is that we do um whether we pick different headlines how we answer the uh the the sort of multiple choice sections between uh, broadcasts and all of that sort of thing none of which they have any idea what i'm on about at the moment um and so they're going to be making all of the decisions and we'll see where they're going to lead us this this could be very interesting so without further ado um we will start playing um and the first thing i have to do is answer a phone call Hi, David, I have a call for you. so this is how the game introduces you to the world That'll be right, these screens here. Top, that mm -hmm. colored bar is your audience. You want to keep the viewers going up. So he's going to tell us lots of things, but we don't need to listen to him because we know what we're doing. Um, right. Okay. So first thing that we're going to do is we got to pick some adverts, and the first decision you guys have to make is three of these five adverts get to be played. Which three adverts would you like to play? Um. I, I mean, my salad weekly is showing yeah. me. My That's salad the first weekly. one that also called out to me because yeah. like oh, I have to turn the power on. I, I remembered that. Uh, there we go. You know what we're doing. I do. <laughs> right, so my salad weekly. Okay, that's our first one. Corn oh, mayonnaise. Uh, what would you like for the second one? Uh, oh, I'm going to pause because we have 12 seconds left. So you have Crazy Neil, Come to Bumley, Alan James, or Exercise with Ham Sleeves. Uh, so there's a lot of people shouting in chat about Crazy Neil or Alan James. Um, okay. I like the Crazy Neil one. I think Yeah, that's the one that I... Agreed. Me. Okay, Crazy Neil is in. Let's go with... I think Alan James, since that's what people are recommending. Let's try it. So, so you want to play some Alan James, do you? Oh, I don't know. What did that... <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any trust. In, I don't have any trust in Alan James, but Alan James, we try and trust, I guess. Okay. But, okay. Everybody. Okay. So we're gonna go with Alan James, um, and then we're gonna get our first introduction to Jeremy Donaldson. Oh. Okay. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main story oh. tonight. Moving Why are you beeping at me? The election win that Why is he beeping? Just couldn't happen. I don't know. Hopeful or hostile? Controversy mm -hmm. as global mega corporation Remington Fist buys Honest Andy's totally independent and corners the flawed market. Top chap. Sports fans everywhere celebrate as popular footballer Johnny Hamsleeves wins Sports Personality of the Year. And a spoonful of sugar. Megan will be chatting with movie star Lawrence Blunderclatch about his new movie, The Medicated. What did you and, call me? Of course, we'll be going around <laughs> to, the to hear what the leaders of this fledgling party have to say on their historic victory. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. What's the football? So there you go, there's your first set of headlines. Um, this is the right. intro level, so there's less choices to make here. But if we didn't play through this, you guys would be completely lost. Um, which is why we're playing through this this first intro episode, if anyone's wondering. 
Um, okay. This, okay. this lets us uh, set the scene for the game. Um, but the key thing you needed to take there, a new government just got elected, and we're going to be he- hearing from them soon. Okay. Oh. This is but awfully that, British. The votes are in yes. a decisive win for advance. The landslide victory, with an astonishing 81% of the popular vote, is the biggest election win in living memory. Advance appealed to voters up and down the country with their bold promises of permanent change. But critics have accused him of a severe lack of actual policies and of being deliberately vague. The opposition parties have all conceded defeat to Advance's overwhelming mandate, but have yet to appear publicly. However, former Home Secretary Jeffrey Jeffries has issued a statement in which he comments that we have all been seduced by the shiny wrapping paper, but have yet to see the contents of the box. Sounds like sour grapes to me, Jeff. After the break, Whoa. Megan Wolf will be speaking to a man whose grapes certainly aren't sour, the international heartthrob and inexplicable box office sensation that is Lawrence Blunderclatch. And later <laughs> in the program, we'll be going live to Advance HQ to hear the coded speech. That's all coming up after the break. One minute back, everybody. So we're in our first yeah, advert break, I need you to um, and and th- this is uh, this is how it starts. Um, as, as they've said, the first thing we're going to be doing is we've got an interview with uh, Benedict. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, he he is an interesting chap. Uh, I think you'll probably quite enjoy this this one. Um, while we're really? waiting for that to come through, here's your interview, for your advert for Salad Weekly. Um, it is literally a weekly salad delivery service. With, with, with like a magazine, you know, so you, so you get like one bit of a salad each week. Oh my god! Like a weekly subscription, it's like, here's your cucumber, here's your lettuce. Exactly so, yes. Um, now, one thing I want to bring up briefly, um, somebody in chat mentioned that I use blue rather than green. Um, I'm colorblind. Uh, which is why I've done that. It just makes it far easier for me to see. Um, so if you're wondering why the, the colour scheme are on a few things are a little bit different to what you're used to, um, I've changed them using the accessibility settings because I'm colourblind. So uh, hopefully that explains that and you can you can understand why I've done that. Uh, so uh, Lawrence has arrived um, and uh, we're about to meet one of our uh, other major characters and that's Megan. Um, Five, four, three. Uh-oh. Get ready. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Later, we'll be hearing from shock election winners advance. But first off, our own culture reporter, Megan Wolf, is here with a star on both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf, culture correspondent. And today, I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare to the Shopbot films. I'm very excited to be joined today by none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, my dear. I do hope you believe me when I tell you that being with you here today is among the greatest joys of my life. <laughs> OK, <laughs> my guy, calm down. <laughs> So you've just finished filming your latest movie, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. (laughs) Wow, what was that like? Well, as I said to Peter at The Wrap, that's Peter Jensen, the director. Do you know him? He's a wonderful chap. He really is. I've worked with him on several movies, all terribly successful. I said to Peter, what a wild ride this has been. And you know what, Megan? I really meant that. Wow, that is fantastic. And am I right in saying that the character you play in this movie is quite an academic one? Absolutely right. A scientist. Was that a challenge at all? What exactly are you implying? But seriously, <laughs> yes! <you're right. laughs> from my last starring role when I played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. You'll remember that that was the true story of one soldier's fight for a love that surpasses all others. A love, of course, for freedom. These I names are absolutely crazy. Yep. Yeah. Uh, obviously, who's counting? <laughs> the writing in this game is off the chart. It genuinely uh-huh. is. I remember correctly. <laughs> it's so sweet of you to mention it, but I really am not in it for the awards, although those three little statues do take pride of place on my mantelpiece. Uh, with all the others, I'm sure. So. If you're not doing it for the awards, mm. what is it then that drives you? Oh, 
that is a beautiful question, Megan, and not easy to answer. Like you, I'm afraid. Cut me and I will bleed. And often that's how it feels, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Bleeding, giving, suffering for one's audience. I suppose in the end, I do it for the difference it makes. I do it for the people. Is it weird that, that I, I want his scarf? No. The little people. <laughs> I kind of like his scarf. All, I think I do it it's very Christmassy, Christmassy isn't it? That I can bring about in the world. I just feel like I could rock and it today. You could. Course, I, I'll, I'll agree we're with that. In yeah. For some real change, it looks so. like in the coming. Like the. Months. What do you make of this historic election design? Event? You know. Oh well. <laughs> Well, now you're asking. Historic election result, indeed. Historic is the word. Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. But um, I think I've always been quite clear that when it comes to politics, that one should always strive to not fuck things up. Uh, yes. Same. Well, um, Sorry, I said fuck. <laughs> no. I'm really, I'm well, well, now I have auto censor on, so we're fine. Which opens next week. Oh, okay. Lawrence, do tell us what's going on here. I'd be delighted. <laughs> this is a really pivotal scene where my character, Dr. Lance Hemlock, is faced with a decision that could affect humanity's very survival. <laughs> Exciting stuff. Let's take a look. Okay. You two now have a choice to make. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, and and for those that uh, do play this game, this was one of the ones I didn't know about until a little while after I'd started playing it. It took me a while to find it. Um, at this moment, he's going to lose the plot. He, he's going to go a bit mental. And right. um, we have two choices. We can either keep showing uh, the clip of the trailer, um, at which point certain things will happen, or we can do it the other way around and we can uh, show him losing the plot and other things will happen. So which would you like to do? I don't want to see the trailer, but at the same time, um, <laughs> what do you think? Should we... You will still see most of the trailer. I have to show about okay. three to five seconds of him losing the plot for it to trigger. Oh. Okay, so we can either have just the trailer, yep. or we say, lose the plot, and then we will get the trailer. Yeah, yeah. So we can get both. Yep. I want both. I want to yeah, see I think... absolutely crazy. Yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah, exactly. See more. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. I'm shutting this down. What kind of operation are you people running? Mr. Blundercatch, I understand you're upset, but we can- Upset! I don't understand. There we go. <laughs> Done. Um, and I was asked in chat why the auto sensor. Um, to be perfectly honest, uh, while I'm streaming like this, I wanted as few things to have to concentrate on other than making sure I didn't miss choices for these guys. Um, so that's that's been uh, the way that I've set this is all up. Um, I did a few, baby. Uh, and so that's the decision that uh, I did that. Now, um, for, for those people asking uh, about things about Secret Neighbor or Hello Neighbor, uh, etc., I'm afraid none of us work on those games, so we can't help you there. Um, we, we're not anything to do with those ones, so I, I'm afraid we just can't answer your questions. Uh, all sorry about that. So when you were doing the, um, like, showing, you basically you. having a meltdown, yep. the the viewership went down, right? Yeah. Like it, it harmed yeah. it. Yeah. See, I would want to tune in for that. I want to yeah, see right. people <laughs> be interested in the drama. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be like Holy a soap opera. That, that, I, I agree absolutely and entirely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And so now we cut to our second advert, and here is your second advert. Welcome to Crazy Neil's Crazy Pre-Christmas Sofa and Chair Deals. It's a steal! With Crazy 
bloody deal. We oh, don't this is the this is the Christmas isn't it? Like it's in chat, sofas, like near November. Cushions, oh, this is crazy Neil. Yeah. We got a great sofa. In a grey, a brown, a pink, a yellow, a purple. Neil's deals are unreal. You've got people coming over at Christmas. You've got Nan. She's gonna leave a stain on the sofa. You don't want to sit uh -oh. on this white sofa. She's gonna no. have to sit on the dark <laughs> sofa. Yeah. <laughs> You want to throw, throw your money at us? Sofa for sofa every sofa occasion. For that is just crazy. If you got lightning, I really it, then strike whilst the lightning is hot. You got a disused sofa. We don't care if it's smelly, dug in front of your telly, full of welly. We'll take that shit away. Don't make a meal out of it. <laughs> make a deal out of it. We got a big ass deal on a big ass chair. We've got white chairs, blue chairs, stools, inflatable chairs. This is a crazy deal. We need a meal. You don't want that. I, I would buy a sofa from this guy. Yeah, there yeah, you would. <laughs> Take my money. And he wanted her to have the best chair. We got those chairs. We got more of those chairs. We got uh, chairs on wheels. Wheelchairs. We got chairs for twins. Chairs uh, made yeah, steel. Neil is, is deal shockingly one chairs. of the community favourites from this crazy game. Um, he, he's a character people adore. We can do you a toilet. We can do you a toilet chair. We can do you a chair next to the toilet. Hell, we can do you a toilet chair. Do you come on down? You bring your ass. Go on, Neil. I want to snoop as well. You want it? We've got it. You want it? You want it? We've got it. You pay it. to get that suit. I want it. Welcome back. And I'm told we can now go live to advance headquarters where the two leaders, Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury, are about to make their acceptance address. These guys really know how to advertise. Agreed. Okay. Well, uh, thank you all for coming. And, well, where do I start? What a day! They said we couldn't do it. They certainly did. They used every dirty, low-down, lying, southern <laughs> bastard trick they had against us. Whoa. But you, Look at that sensor. The people, you saw right through their shite. I'm sorry about the language there. Sorry about that. I've right, we've got auto sensor. Don't worry. Yep. Auto sensor's doing it for us. It's fine. Yep. <laughs> Memorably put. One of the nice things about this game is that you and can set it up to have Peter the settings you're going to enjoy. If you want to play it more as a story game, it will let you do so. It's, it's oh, genuinely yeah. nice. Yeah. And so where we're streaming, and I want to concentrate on that rather than the game, it lets me do so. But today is day one of a new future. He's just hanging out with a pint. I love it. Mm. So perhaps we should all be celebrating. Except for the rich. For them, the party's over. They shouldn't be celebrating. They should be putting their shitty <laughs> pants on and opening their dusty checkbooks. Again, colourfully put, but not inaccurate. <laughs> Before we came out here to address the nation, we used our executive powers to pass the Assets and Wealth Act. Working with the tax office, we have produced a definitive list of every person in the country with wealth into the millions. You know the sort of problem. You, you rather you don't. Because the likes of you and me are not welcome in their gated communities. Tomorrow, Ooh. we will be introducing a sweeping reform of the tax system in this country. No more hiding wealth offshore, no more trust funds or creative accounting. A simpler, fairer, unavoidable set of tax laws. So all you bastard public school snobs have got nowhere to hide. And I need that old sensor in my life. Yeah, right. I okay, just need that button to walk around. Back, <laughs> you want to leave like you threatened before the election? That's fine. But first, you're going to pay up. You're going to pay back. Advance are going to turn this country from a nation of warring individuals into a team, to properly fund health and education, to raise the living standards of us all. The pundits said we'd have to raise billions, but you'll see when we this reclaimed this so ours, British. that's absolute yep. shite. Like it's just, so I you, feel it in my bones. The people <laughs> how pay how British this is. In their private clubs, the, the people whose children you raise. So they've got time to get even fucking richer. Advanced it makes it a bit scarier. It ends today. We scarier. are coming for your sports cars and Keep your watching. mansions and your vineyards. It ends today. We will put the wealth of this country back where it should have always been. In the hands of the people who created it. It ends today. Yes, it ends today. What ends and today? And tomorrow, we'll start making it fair again. 
just like we promised we would. And until then, ladies and gents, I suggest we all get pissed. <laughs> I can't argue with okay. that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for your time. <laughs> well, an interesting acceptance speech there from the leaders of Advance, and our apologies for the fruity language. Hopefully, we got that bleeped out for you in time. If not, someone's going to be in trouble. <laughs> So, as the country Fortunately, the auto sensor did it perfectly. <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow with full coverage of the first day under advance. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful night. And we're so ends And so today. now, Call times are on the board. meet Alan James. This is not a movie. This is not some child's tale. This is not that is charade. This is reality. This is the story of you and how you're stupid and asleep. It's about how you were oh. promised the Elysian Fields, but you ended up filleting Satan for the salty crumbs. It's happening here. It's happening now. And it's all What's happening right in front of you. I'm Alan James. Alan James is one of the country's most controversial columnists and speakers. Uh, and they're going to take your poor sweet grandma, and you're never going to see those dribbling dentures again, oh grandma! Look at their faces! That's not what cows look like! You call it the stock market, I call it the stuck market, because it's just another poll they've stuck up our collective... I don't care if it's your nephew! He's stuck in the way of the trap! Oh my god. Alan James is right. It's coming to your city. I'm Alan James. I don't need Alan Wake. I need Alan James. The gospel according to Alan James. And the Alan James shall set you free. And now I'm bringing my message directly to you. With my new nationwide tour, Alan James is right in front of you. Alan James. I like his. Alan James. Alan James. Like book cover. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Alan James. Coming to a city near you. Check local press for dates and times. Petition <laughs> to get all of our images like that. <laughs> so, uh, we did great. Yeah, um, we did. A plus. We got a generous bonus, so uh, we're only broke ass poor. So, so, so that's nice. I appreciate that. Um, and uh, the channel is happy with us, advance season. Like, unhappy or happy. Uh, but now, uh, so first of all, uh, I will show you this very quickly. Um, if we go into the elections and go to the Blunderclatch interview. So this is the rushes room. So this is what the bit of the game that lets you, should you choose, go back these and watch my footage Please tell me these aren't my that you may have missed. So, for instance, uh, if I do that and then put that on to 16 times. Ah, no, I went too far. Um, first of all, we can see what he had to say when he first showed up. These aren't my cards. Um, thing, Jenny, they must see that. And I think they think then you can also said. sort of get context That's onto why he was like he was during the day. interview. It's not and <laughs> then <laughs> later on, ah, oh, he got. I don't care, Rob. I'm not doing it. I agreed to do one beastly interview a day. I made that completely clear when we started. <laughs> Check my contract. Hi, I'm Megan. Oh, piss off. You're a thin bloody ice, Rob. He's Cool wheat, man. Cool wheat. We're coming back from the break. It's a sandwich. Quiet in the studio. On to Jeremy's desk. Thank you so much. I missed that. Seconds, everybody. Yeah. yeah. Going in five, four, three. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. And of course, the moment that he starts speaking to her, he goes on about how being there is like the greatest day of his life. And, yeah. And, yeah. yeah, and he touched her arm and he's all yeah, like, yeah, 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 that's yeah. right. And then oh. if we go forward to uh, where this point, here you go. Mr. Blundercatch, Mr. No! I'm shutting this down. What kind of operation are you people running? Mr. Blundercatch, I understand you're upset, upset, but we can. Upset! You don't know the half of it. Rob! I'll be at the door seat. Send up a bottle of scotch and a whole ham. Ah, uh, but redeemed. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, ju I just had to. I had to. Well, go on then. Say it. What? I told you so. Your hair look nice. See, this is why you're single. <laughs> 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 the audacity! So, yeah, you can look through and also you can go and look at the adverts. Like, if you didn't get to watch one of the adverts, you can go back and watch the adverts and that sort of thing. Or you can just watch your actual broadcast. Um, That's cool. <laughs> like, if you miss anything, like, there's someone in the chat who never noticed that it was through, like, the bagel. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's good that you're actually able to go back because there's so much going on at the time that you're to go. Yeah. Yes, That's very fun. much so. Um, so, now, we're going to introduce you to the second part of the game. Okay. Because the game is split very firmly into two sections. Um, right. And this sex second section is a choose-your-own-adventure story. Oh. Uh, so, Shanice, do you want to read out this first bit? Oh, goodness gracious, I can damn well try. Um, cool. So you have a, uh, you arrived home to find post on the map. Most being nothing more than just a usual junk mail. One letter, however, catches your eye. The team wants to know you. Indeed. Ooh. So curiosity gets the better of you, and you open it. Always. Teeny, you want to take this one? Yeah. It's a form from the from the new advanced government asking for information on all citizens. The first page is filled in already. Your name, Alex Winston. Your spouse, Sam Winston. Your children, Charles Winston, 14, and Susie Winston, 19. So, and one thing that I adore about this game that's really, really clever. What gender is the character and what gender is the spouse? They're both gender neutral names. Yes. So. And there's a sibling as well where they've done the same thing. So the uh, the story can be told and it works however you want it to. It's a really right. clever bit of writing. Yeah. Um so this okay. is where you guys get to make some choices. The rest of the questions are left for you to complete. They appear to be mandatory. Question one. Upon starting a new job, you would be friendly and introduce yourself to your new co-workers, be productive and get to work immediately, ease yourself in and orientate yourself with your new workplace, or reminisce with old friend with friends about old jobs. Do you want to take this in turns or do you want to make a mutual decision to stick together, Tina? <laughs> uh, maybe together. I would say the first three all of the above kind of thing, but if you have to pick just one, yeah. that's pretty hard. Um, mm. So, in the way that I'm going to play this is basically chaotic evil. Okay. Uh, is the way that I would take this approach. Just because I'm, I'm very interested on <laughs> what's going to happen with this game, okay? Any questions that I answer, I'm just going to say this now, any questions that we will answer are not what we would personally choose. This is just... <laughs> yeah. Disclaimer. Oh Disclaimer. Just to, to, to see more... Yeah, I get it. To see more chaos and, and, and drama. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, That's I... Awesome. I would say... Because I would like to see how they would react. So, like, reminisce with friends about old jobs. That's Maybe that's about... Maybe that's, that's what I would put. That, that's definitely the most wrong answer out of all. <laughs> <laughs> so let's pick the most wrong answer then. Very well. <laughs> okay, okay. So uh, we will reminisce with friends about old jobs. Okay. Question two. A colleague in a different department has confided in you that they've been taking home confidential information. Oh. Now, oh. a file of minor importance has gone missing. You would... Help your colleague cover up their violation. Recommend that your colleague reports it. Promise your colleague that you won't tell anyone. Report the violation to your supervisor immediately. <laughs> if we're going chaotic, it's going to have to be the first one. <laughs> See, I almost am just saying, like, now report, get out. Oh, you want to you wanna, you wanna get out of here. Ruin your colleagues. <laughs> get out. 
Okay. Hello. Learning, learning a lot about my colleagues here today. <laughs> I'll pull them up. <laughs> Get them out. Get so, out of here. Okay. You okay with that, T? So we're, we're going to report sure. the violation, are we? Yeah, I mean, it's very dramatic. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, we have reported the violation. Question yes. three. An entire department was fired today for consistent underperformance. Oh. Your boss has put in place new targets that are significantly higher than the previous ones. You would leave work on time, stay late to ensure you hit the first deadline, leave work early and head to the pub to chat about the changes with colleagues, or leave work early and head home to see your family. <laughs> see, I would, I would, uh, like, Shaun of the Dead moment for that. And I would just want to go to the pub. Okay. Chat all night and wait for, all, wait for it to all blow over. But we're going to the Winchester, are we? Yeah, we're going to the Winchester. We're going to stick to the British roots. Tina? <laughs> we're okay with this, Tina? I, okay, yeah, I mean, if we're going the most, like I said, if we're going for the most chaotic, wrong thing, way about things, that's definitely the worst one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So we're going to leave work early and head to the pub to chat about the changes with colleagues. Question four. It's the annual company barbecue and you and your family have been invited. You are looking forward to a nice day out with family and friends. Are washing your hair that day. Go <laughs> if you're free, but wouldn't mind messing it. Or have been practicing with your co-workers and think you'll win the talent contest this year. <laughs> so I think I actually am washing my hair that day, so I can't. What, <laughs> what a terrible answer! <laughs> okay, yeah, let's wash my hair because you know it's only. I mean, to be that fair, day. we all have quite long hair, right? So it, it takes hair. takes time to have hair this pretty and long. Like, oh my gosh, it's wash day. It's uh, wash day, baby. Yep, absolutely. Uh, so, um, question five. You've had a long, successful career, and now you're about to retire. In your speech, you list your achievements and all the good memories you have of working there, give an honest review of the pros and cons of the company, focus on issues and challenges you faced while working there, or refuse to offend. A a offend? Okay. Attend. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to stress that none of these answers are my own personal ones. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Disclaimer. Non nothing yeah. that I am putting here is what I would normally put. Yeah, we, we believe, believe you. We, chaotic. We believe We're doing you. it for the funsies. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, just, I ain't going. I have no idea what to expect from all these results. So it's, it's yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. Right? What, so you're going to refuse to like. attend. Yeah, because what are they going to uh, do, fire you? Once we've done this, <laughs> I'll explain what your decisions do, yep. Yeah. Um, so you've refused to attend. So, yeah, going. in your spare time, you like to relax alone, doing things like listening to music or making models, attend political rallies and stand up for what you believe in, encourage and support your children with their hobbies, or play in your local sports team. Um, I'm gonna let Tina pick this one. Yeah, that there's no crazy negative ones in here. Um. Oh, there is. You just don't know the story well enough to know which is the oh. really negative one. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, I don't. I can't imagine which which might be the the most chaotic one in here. Um. Well, I like we forget that we um we have kids, right? Yeah, yeah. And we we have a family essentially. So yeah. the like to relax alone, doing things like listen to music and make True. models. Yeah. Like I feel like would be more self oriented. Yeah, exactly. That, that I feel like that's more of a selfish option. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I think. Or attend political, but like I, I don't know. Again, like attend political rallies. 
would also could also be bad because you don't know what political rally they are. That's true, and it could cause conflict with like their work, exactly. I guess. Yeah. Okay. So uh, my initial thought was gonna go with one, um, but what do you think? Do you think Shanice two, one or two? I don't know. You pick one. I'm I'm I'm, I'm between both of those. Okay. I have a chocolate uh, coin here. I can flip a chocolate coin for you if you want. I think I think political rallies will cause more disruption. Yeah. 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 Let's go with two. Oh, but there was an accidental bit of foreshadowing. Mm -hmm. Um, just with a word you said, Chinese. Don't worry about it. Um, so, uh, an unexpected form. Uh, question seven. Your ideal holiday getaway would be surrounded by natural beauty, getting away from the strain of the daily grind, <laughs> exploring somewhere unfamiliar, and discovering new experiences and challenges. A structured day out at a theme park, bursting with thrills and attractions for you and your family, or a romantic getaway with your partner to a tropical island paradise. Well, the world at the bottom, you've left your kids at home. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> you kind of have to... Let's go with exploring somewhere unfamiliar and desolate. Let's go with adventurer mode. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What do you think, Shanice? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Now, oh. it is most important that the government keeps people safe, free, happy, or equal. Why is equal red? Because uh, I currently have it hovered over that one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> okay. Equal. Oh. <laughs> um, I... Again, I want to be chaotic. Yeah. So... What the government might think that you're doing isn't always, like, their objective, I don't think. That's what, that's what, that's what I'm trying to think in my head. So they may think that you're keeping you safe, free, happy, and equal, but in retrospect, they probably aren't doing any of those. So I kind of feel like that it doesn't matter which one we do pick because it's always going to be the opposite. That's what I, again, I've never played this game. So yeah. I'm just like reading into every line. Mm. And so I think anything that we pick is going to be the opposite. So it's going to be like, oh, you're safe. Crime is up. You're right, free. Right, right. You're in lockdown. You're happy, everything is sad, and you're all equal. Yeah. Low JK, we're not equal. So, right. it, it's, I think it's probably like what we want to achieve. That's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. This is my thought process. I would vote safe in that case. <laughs> so, we're going to get ready for some crime. Let's pick safe. Final answer. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. Advance knows your time is valuable, and we appreciate your help in leading the nation to a brighter future. Okay. And we sign our name. So, to explain what those answers did, those answers set the starting parameters for our relationship both with the government, um, our boss, and also our family. Right. Um, so that's actually what those answers do. Um, and, and typically, Thomas, right? It's it's beautiful. Absolutely <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> um, so the the, um, the the what what this has done is it has changed um, positively or negatively how much the the government, uh, another group. Um, and uh, our family feel about us. Um, okay. I get the feeling our family aren't going to like us that much, based on your answers. <laughs> also I... suspect that the government's going to be a bit confused about us, if we're yeah. being honest. Um, so we'll sign our name to that. Uh, no. And, and then... No. Uh, it you ticks forward. Don't sign it. <laughs> don't, don't sign it. You no, have no, to no. sign it. There's no choice. Yeah, yeah no. Mm. You... So... 
And now we get to see what kind of people these two are, don't we, chat? <laughs> Day six, a family matter. It's late. Sam and the kids have gone to bed. You're just drying up a favourite coffee, cu coffee cup, a worn-out souvenir of your first trip together. The prints faded, but the goofy face still makes you smile. A knock on the window brings you back to reality. No, window? That's... There, in the garden, clutching oh. a gaudy neon green suitcase, is Chris, Sam's sibling. As soon as you let them in, they sit at the kitchen table, visibly stressed. What's happened? Chris takes a deep breath. I'm so sorry for bursting in so late, Alex, Chris stammers, but I need a favour, and you're the only one I can ask. What would you like to answer you to? Um, no problem, what's going on? No problem, what... Uh, I, I think so. I, I, yeah, because no, no problem. problem, what's going on, it means like you're not consenting with your spouse about like like uh, uh having a talk with your spouse about their own family member i don't know i or talking about whether or not you're willing to help them i don't know i don't know what to expect <laughs> chris is our son of like no, child right no chris is this is your uh either sister in law or brother in law take pick yeah your oh. spouse is sibling. If Alex in your head is female, this is your sister-in-law. If Alex in your head is male, then this is your brother-in-law. Okay, cool. So, all right, cool. Um, I'll just be like, no probs. What's going on? Like, like, <laughs> very acting like so nonchalant about it, rather like, okay. are you okay? Should I get Sam's? Like, no. Yeah, What's like up? <laughs> yeah. All right. You must have seen all this crazy advanced stuff. The Assets and Wealth Act, they're calling it. Taking people's hard-earned money to fund the lazy. It's bullshit. Oh. You've never seen Chris this agitated. I'm not saying the top 1% or whatever don't have stupid money, Chris adds hastily. But they can afford it. People like me? We're going to lose everything. Oh, oh. First option is that's awful, but I'm not sure how I can help. Uh, you were always the well-off one in the family. Or, I'm sorry, but taking from the rich to help the poor doesn't sound so bad. Oh. Mm. I mean, I want to argue. I came here to choose violence. <laughs> <laughs> she woke up with violence today. Yep. <laughs> So you want, I'm sorry, but taking from the rich to help the poor doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> Is that yeah. what you, yeah? Okay. Yep. Okay. I guess so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, just wanna, I, I just choose chaos today. Sorry, chat. Chris's eyes flash dangerously. You can't possibly be that naive. They're taking whatever they want and distributing it as they see fit. No government should have that kind of power. Look. That's not why I'm here. I need to borrow your passport. What? My passport? <laughs> what for? Or my passport? I can't give you that. It's illegal. Um, our character at this point doesn't really care about that today. <laughs> uh, let's ask what for. I, I want to know why. Yeah. What would I? What do you want? Like, I don't know. I don't know how having my passport would be necessary. Yeah. I'm trying to think about why you need it. You don't well, need so it. Well, it, so what, what you do know is that in the advanced speech, they said that if people were going to try and leave the country, they'd revoked their passports. Oh, and that's why he's such a... That's why he's got the... Got the suitcase, because he probably tried to do it, and now he doesn't have his passport anymore. Oh. No. He's but then he's gonna. But now he's gonna lose your passport by taking it and trying to run away with exactly. it. Exactly. I'd say what for. Mm. No, because now we know no, what for. Yeah, well, I'm yeah. like, no, I can't give you that. 
Yeah, say two, because now we know. We don't need to ask why. Mm -hmm. Although, yeah. So, so you're, you're just going to go with, no, I can't give you that, it's illegal. Yeah. yeah. Get out. Take your suitcase and go. I've taken her mine and half the bloody countries, but people always say that you and I look similar, so Chris is pacing now. I need to leave before it's too late. Once I'm out, me and my money will be safe. But I need to go now before they freeze my accounts. Please, Alex. I wouldn't ask if I had any other choice. Mm. Nah, there's another way. Again, we're, we're, we're not here to, to be friends. We're just going to cause chaos. I think everyone I think everyone in the chat would probably agree with them. It's going to be chaotic. I tell them. I mean, most of the people in the chat know what this decision causes, so... Oh. So are they... Are they the ones that are like... Is it you guys that are making me be chaotic evil? Am I just, like, getting that... <laughs> Need to make a choice. What you can do, what you can do, what you can do. Uh, Tina, what do you think? I don't... It's not an easy choice, is it? I don't know. I feel like... Because, like, it's like... It's sabotaging our past. You know what I mean? Like, uh, as this character is going to lose... What about... What about our character? Yeah. Is what I'm thinking. Like, okay, we're helping him out, but... What if we get screwed over for losing, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. We're not going to have a passport, and then what are we going to do if we need it? Yeah, yeah. He's not going to help us. Yeah. He's going to be gone. Exactly. <laughs> and, and so what do we owe him? I'm just typically, <laughs> Thomas has just said a wonderful line of advice for you. There are no yeah. wrong choices, guys. Only consequences. And that, Thomas, is so very, very true of this game. That really, really is. Okay. Um, let's be selfish and say no. I think yeah. we should be a selfish character. Yeah, we have been so far, so... Yeah. Surely there's another way it can't be that serious. Yeah. <laughs> and so non... non... what do you call it? Concerned. <laughs> Chris's mouth falls open. Oh. You're joking, right? I've always done right by you and Sam. I've treated your children like they were my own. We're family. Does that mean nothing to you? <laughs> it's against the law. Yeah. It's against the law. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's our good choice. We're sticking to it. Yep. <laughs> Not giving in to you. I love the, I love this message in chat. Chrissy is upset. <laughs> it's against the law. I can't help you with this. <laughs> Fine. I'll solve this myself. Chris Spitz. So much for family loyalty, eh? I'm Grabbing the nylon fluorescent for. suitcase, Chris disappears into the night. You go back to the dishes, picking up Sam's cup again. Appealing face now seems to bore into you. The knot in your stomach tightens. Mm. Okay. Uh, and 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 real facts. Y you are speaking real facts. Uh. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. So uh, we have a phone call. Uh. Yep. We don't care. Um. Yeah, so, first things first, you guys need to pick some uh, adverts. So, uh, these ones are a bit different. Uh, the first things first is that we have a tape from the government. Oh, mm. is, that the is that the logo? Yes, or this one. It... Advanced Go-Getters. Uh, so, oh. that's introducing the Advanced Go-Getters team team. Uh, we also have an advert for a, um, a makeup company. Um, we have a Crazy Neil advert, uh, we have an Alan Jones advert, and then last but not least, we have an advert for Mr. Snuggle Hugs, which yes. has that lovely note on it. Safe? Yeah, we want to see the weird toy commercial. 
Yeah. <laughs> and D- um, D- the, the, there's another DJ in chat, and DJ in chat has just said, oh, they definitely going to play Snuggle Hugs just before yeah. you said that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Of course. Right, so you we're know, playing Mr. Know. Snuggle Hugs. No. So would you like to play the government's video? Jus de cochon? Is that what it says? Jus de cochon? Yep. That's what? Pig. What, what does that mean? Um, cochon is pig and mm-hmm. jus is juice, yeah. so pig juice. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Yeah, I know. That's why. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, it's like, and, and DJ and you, Tina, same page, DJ in chat has just gone, fun fact, juice de cocon means big juice. <laughs> <laughs> so which oh, of yeah. the other four adverts would you like to play? Crazy Neil, Alan James, Pig Juice, and the Advanced Go-Getters. I want to see Advanced because we just got a thing about them. Yeah. And we already saw Alan and Crazy Neil, so why don't we switch to the two that we've never seen? The as much as it sounds gross, and I don't understand it, I think the... we should look at it anyway. <laughs> I I kind of are all these adverts different, or are they the same? Or can you oh, they're different. Me? They are different. Oh. There's there's a new advert. Anytime you get a new advert, like in this section, it will be entirely different. Mm. And there I are can't... certain adverts. Um, uh, that are very difficult to unlock as well. Interestingly, you have to make certain choices throughout the course of the game to unlock them later on. I think we should. Let's get chat to to pick one. Yeah. To pick. Okay. okay. You... Chat. D one. Pig juice. Alan James <laughs> or Crazy Neil. Let us know. Yeah. Uh, and typically, Thomas, I, I'm almost certain I did. Um, I am not going to claim that I speak French at all. I don't. I believe <laughs> Tina speaks French. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's cushion. Uh, so, yes. What do you want, chat? Let us know. Also, something I should make sure that you are all aware about. If uh, you're not on the Twitch side of things, if you're watching on YouTube, do head over to our Twitch page. Um, it's twitch.tv slash tinybuild. Um, and over on the Tiny Build side of things, um, we are giving away, throughout the course of this stream, copies of Graveyard Keeper, um, another one of our games here at Tiny Build. Um, and a really, really fun game. Um, one that it's I, so fun. Yeah, I genuinely enjoy uh, Graveyard Keeper. So if you're yeah. on YouTube at the moment, um, we are streaming to both YouTube and Twitch. Um, and basically, uh, YouTube, it's much more difficult to give giveaways on for many, many reasons that I'm not going into here. So we do them on Twitch rather than on YouTube. So head mm-hmm. over to Twitch if you want to join in with our giveaways. Um, so we've got a few people saying Crazy Neil. Uh, a few people saying Alan J- I think Alan James is just winning at the moment. Okay. Just. So... Mr. Fucking Todd does something. Yeah, let's get our boy Alan James. The- okay, so Alan James. Right, so in this section, what's going to happen is uh, in screen three and four here, you're going to see two separate images. Um, and depending on which image we select will depend on which headline goes out. So I'll let you have a look at them and then I'll pause them each time so that you can make your choice. Our main headlines tonight. Destination unknown. At the end of Advance's first full week in office, we ask exactly... So this first one is Advance, the government, and uh, in the left-hand picture, they're being portrayed quite darkly. Um, And in the right-hand picture, they're quite smiley and happy. How would you like to portray the government? (laughs) <laughs> uh, with terrible lighting. Terrible lighting. <laughs> That's what I would say. Chaotic. Chaotic. <laughs> yep. Let's okay. Go with the negatives. So and then, we then are put- I've been smiling. I've noticed that too. Yeah. With the country's wealth creators in a state of panic and unfavorable rumblings already heard from overseas, I'll be asking my guests whether Advance can deliver on even a fraction of their manifesto promises. Out with the old Remington's fist have appointed okay. Sophia Remington as a <laughs> So, uh, the company Remington's Vist has just appointed a new CEO, a young lady called Sophia Remington's Fist. 
Now, you can either pick the image in which she is shown as uh, just having graduated university in, in her gown, uh, or you can show her at a craps table gambling. Which would you... And, and uh, I will warn you, uh, I, I think this one, it's fair to give you a little bit of context before you make the decision. Whichever choice you make here will entirely change her character for the rest of the game. She is two completely separate characters, depending on which one you pick. Okay. Are we continuing the chaos route? Because that would be the gambling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I already made up my mind. I was letting you guys talk. Oh, yeah. I mean, at this point, we yeah, we, we know which... Gambling. If we're continuing in the same direction, it's going to be the gambling. <laughs> yeah. Taken from our archive. Gives us a sense of this influential young firebrand who, at the tender age of 23, well, she wins becomes in the youngest Jack. female CEO in history. Sophia mm -hmm. Warrington's appointment is a risk for the giant mega corporation. Sophia, as our regular viewers will be aware, has always been a wild child and has been romantically linked to several movie stars and sports personalities. In her first press conference this afternoon, Sophia announced a children's toy named Mr. Snugglehugs. Sophia oh. will raise this Christmas. But concerns have been raised about the product's safety. Making a splash. Intrepid scientist Dr. David Wong and marine biologist Ingrid Swarsborg and Horgensford. So, and today set off to explore. So, do you want them to be friendly or fighting? I'm assuming fighting. Fighting. Yeah. Yep. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> the recently discovered was unreachable. But thanks We're to here for on chaos. Cloud technology, <laughs> You're succeeding. <laughs> And the Trust us, those of us who know what you've done are... Mm, yes. <laughs> I feel like Elmo was like the fire behind me. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It was like, yes! In which they yeah. Chaos. So they're going to go on an expedition to Devil's Taint. Excuse me? You heard me. Uh, so, how would you like to portray the professional footballer? Uh, leaving a club with an attractive young lady or leaving a club throwing up? Um, I mean, I would say throwing up because alcohol has consequences, people. <laughs> <laughs> Do it yeah. right by chat. Alcohol has consequences. That's what will happen. <laughs> when is shaming, like, when is more, like, not shaming, but like... By this very program. And judging from the angle and velocity of that it, spread, him... it looks like Johnny may have been celebrating oh, too much. I certainly wouldn't want to be his drag king. My goodness. And Grievous bodily charm. Yummy. With advance promising a radical new position. Okay, so this one was one of the few ones that I, I struggled with at first, but um, basically uh, this is Advance's take on crime. Um, the left-hand image uh, is a bunch of police officers looking very, very threatening and scary. And the right-hand image is a pair of thugs looking very, very scary. Who do you want to make look <laughs> scary? Oh, oh. Uh, I don't know. What, 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 what would look... Okay, so mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna let you choose what's most chaotic, chaotic in this situation. <laughs> so my my thought process is we picked uh, we picked safe, right? When we were doing that questionnaire survey, you did, yeah. So to make it worse, if I'm thinking what I'm thinking, that doing that makes us unsafe technically choosing the police to make see to make it seem more scarier is probably just going to amplify the bad i can you know? see why you think that yeah 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 so that's what i'm thinking but then technically if it's not going to make you feel safe then maybe like the the thugs with the hoods up might i don't know i'm i'm who do you want uh, people want... to be scared of? Do you want them to be scared of the police or do you want them to be scared of their neighbours? Oh! <laughs> oh! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got to sit up. I want them to be scared of their neighbours. Okay. Yeah. Maybe? I don't know. I think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe. But it is. 
There you go. Are they going <laughs> From and each team has helped to be chaotic. And more and more people are saying they're scared to walk the streets alone at night. Could this be exactly the right time for Advance's new approach? All that, a mega move for the group of young actors who are already experiencing the positive side of the new Assets and Wealth Act firsthand. They'll be talking and performing later. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. I'm excited for these ads. Is that and weird? here we go. Uh, the, 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 so yeah. this isn't an advert. This is uh, just the intro. And then we're going to be going to Jeremy doing an interview with uh, a couple oh. of people, one of whom might be a little bit familiar. It's Alan. It's our boy, <laughs> Alan. Yeah. I tell you, chat, isn't it great watching for these guys? Book? Like, watching you guys' reactions to stuff where we we obviously, most of us know this. Um, just just to pause for a second. <laughs> most of us know what you're doing, know what's happening and everything like that. Whereas obviously for you guys, this is all brand new. And for mm. us watching you go through these decisions, it's genuinely a lot of fun. Um, mm. I, I'm really enjoying it. In the wake oh, of the boy, swift enactment of the Assets and Wealth Act, we're talking about Advance's first week in office and what the new future holds. Joining me are Katie Brightman, a leading economist, and Alan James, author of Alan James is Right, The Free Man's Guide to Waking Up. Alan, the government certainly haven't dragged their heels on delivering some of the legislation they promised, but what does the Wealth Act mean for us? Nothing, Jeremy. We're still vassal slaves. We're just in prettier cages. A confident Ooh. dismissal there. Katie Brightman, do you agree? I'm afraid I don't, no. I think that Advance have realised that the current economic system of unlimited, unending growth is untenable, so they're changing things up. There I agree with you. They're moving to the next steps in the grand plan. Grand plan, Alan? It's all in my book. Alan James is right. <laughs> I'll buy it. <laughs> Ignorant, sterile and short-lived. That's what they want. Or perhaps Advance have just realised that if we carry on the way we are, we will destroy ourselves and this planet in a mad orgy of consumption, if you'll excuse the colourful metaphor. <laughs> yes, orgy is the right word. Only it'll be the overlords having an orgy on our poor broken backs. It's all in my book. Alan James is... Is she seriously self-promoting? <laughs> Katie, how do you think the rest of the world will respond to this new approach? I think they're watching carefully. Advance are the most disruptive threat that the world powers have faced since the last Great War. Yes, Katie's right. War is inevitable. Thank you, but that isn't And what this I... will not be a war like we've ever seen before. We're talking millions of deaths. We're talking high-tech weapons that can level entire cities. We're talking... Out of the wrong orifices? Mock me all you like, Jeremy. But when they murder your parents and they poison your food and they take you away to their camps for hypno-brainwashing, who will be laughing then? That might be a great way to sell books, Alan, but you know full well that isn't going to happen in a democracy. Democracy is dead. Yes, advance are radical, and change is always frightening, but the truth is that the Wealth and Assets Act has made more than 90% of the population wealthier and is on target to produce a permanent end to poverty. Bollocks! What this young lady doesn't understand, Jeremy, is that these are the same people. Maybe they've rebranded, but it's all a little circus act to keep us from seeing the tyrant behind the curtain. That's where you're wrong, Alan. For a start, they've mobilised the youth Alan vote, has never passion. Been you say mobilise, oh, I God, yes. grooming. The grooming of an entire generation to walk happily into eternal bondage. That's <laughs> <laughs> based on the facts. Katie, what are your predictions? The Assets and Wealth Act is only the first step. Advance now have a historic budgetary surplus, and as well as properly funding our public services, they're already un they're already funneling unprecedented amounts into scientific research and the arts. Or, as I call them in my book, Frankly yes. Science and Opie Arts. Like opiates, see? Can I buy this book? I want to read it. From the water, the chemicals. Or if any of the dense food. Food. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I want to see these changes, but only if they're sustainable. If Advance lose their power after spending half of our GDP on dismantling infrastructure, that could be catastrophic. The catastrophe is that they're succeeding. They've got us sat here talking about their puppet show. All right, we're running out of time. Quickly, Alan, um, what does the future look like to you? A bleak space where we've all been figuratively sodomised into submission. Oh, of course. Katie? We might be on the eve of a brave new world. God knows we need some change, but we need to be <laughs> cautious. Let's walk forwards with our eyes open. Two very different visions of the future there. Alan James, Katie Brightman, thank you for joining me. When we come back, I'll be investigating law and order 
before Meghan meets some beneficiaries of the Assets and Wealth Act. That's all coming up tonight. And wealth Act. On the That's all coming up theme. tonight. On the One minute back. I think they might do something good. I hope so too, Jeremy. How much you being? <gasps> this is oh. the one. <laughs> 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 Bush. It's a question. And they just love. <laughs> With his state-of-the-art human-like voice to keep them company when you can't. And that that is one of my favorite moments in the game. That section. Oh. It's no wonder Mr. Snuggle Hugs is the gift your child wants this Christmas. Nightmare voice and eyes. <laughs> you don't want to be like that. Why does this sound like a Dalek? Why not? <laughs> Why would any kid like that? That's creepy. Welcome back. We're going to be taking a deep dive into the state of law and order in our country. Ah, uh, this bit. I think you'll like this bit. Solutions team to move this serious social problem to the top of the list. Tonight, we go behind the headlines to meet the people who live with the criminal justice system every day of their lives. First up, we have Gregory Judge, a lawyer who sees the problems close up on the front line. Can you hear me, Gregory? Yes, I've got you, Jeremy. Thanks for having me. What's it like on the front line of the hard face of the cold hand of justice? Uh, well, <laughs> as you can imagine, Jeremy, we are massively understaffed in this country. Uh, we're working every hour we can just to try and cope with the caseloads on our desks. Which must affect the quality of support you can offer. Well, we can barely keep up with demand, Jeremy. Huh? Uh, there just simply isn't enough being done at a systemic level to relieve the problem. Greg. We need more support from ministers. We... Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> we need change at a structural level, I'm Jeremy. I'm leaving, Greg. Yeah. Have a good time, darling. It never is, oh. is it? <laughs> I'll be at my mother's. <laughs> just hang oh. on. No, the, the problem it's isn't fun. a local one, Jeremy. It's nationwide. J just give me five minutes. I'm talking oh. to Jeremy Donaldson. Oh, have you mentioned your affairs? No. Oh! Ah. <laughs> the affairs of the On Justice TV. Department that we should be concerned about. Hello, Mr. Donaldson. Hello, Mrs. Judge. We need... Uh, we need legislation to relieve the pressure on our public service. Sorry servants. to interrupt the news, Mr. Donaldson. Can I have a moment to tell my husband I'm leaving him? Yes, I uh, totally understand. Oh, she gonna... Quite the picture of a burdened legal sector there. Gregory Judge, thank you for joining us. Next, I'm joined by Police Chief Constable Bob Peel, mm. a man with a very different perspective on our nation's crime. Do you think there's a problem with the system, Bob? I'm sure we all do, Jeremy. I'm sure we all long for a return to the days when you could safely walk the streets of your community at night, looking in through windows and generally enjoying your neighbours without the risk of being terrorised by some thug with a knife. Uh, or kosh. So you feel the streets simply aren't safe anymore? Where have we gone wrong, Bob? Well, that's not a simple question, Jeremy, but I think it all comes down to moral decay. We've diluted our culture and lost touch with what it means to be a citizen of this once great country. Also, as the vicar noted in Sunday's sermon, we probably shouldn't have banned hanging. And to what do you attribute this moral decay? Foreigners, gays and gypsies, mainly. <laughs> it's all in the Bible. Look, Leviticus clearly states that... Oh, bugger, hang on a moment. Jeremy, your bloody gimp's escaped. <laughs> Delia? Delia, could you what? give me a little help, please, dear? <laughs> As I was saying, Jesus is like escaped. much did he? <laughs> and <laughs> his face. For the moral decay. Absolutely, Jeremy. Uh, back in your box, Clive. Back in your box. Delia, I really could use a little help with this. Oh, sorry, darling. I was spaying the badgers. Is this, I'm talking to Jeremy Donaldson. <laughs> Clive, could you put him back in the box? Oh, Clive, you know it's Wednesday. Thank you go back in your gift space. Whose responsibility is it to make a change, Bob? Well, it is certainly not the responsibility of the decent, good, white people. Darling, where's the padlock? Oh, hold on just a moment. Oh. oh. Clive, this simply won't do. Naughty, 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 Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy's <laughs> Clive, I am not having this again. <laughs> oh my God, I just noticed the fishnets. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> As I was saying, Jeremy, 
moral decay. Crime is the responsibility of the criminal. No one else. Look, everyone has a sob story. Does no one have a private office space? When our daughter Alice comes home with an A minus, does she go on a killing spree? No, she takes three of her pills and hides under the stairs like a normal child. Thank you, Bob. Bob Peel there, really locking down the police's position on morality force. And finally tonight, hopefully uninterrupted, it's time to get to the heart of the matter. Tony Dawson has recently been released from prison after serving three years for aggravated assault, burglary, and menacing a swan. He's agreed to talk to us today, which is menacing also a swan. Yeah, I want to know that story. Many happy returns, Tony. Cheers, Jez. Call me Titwank, Tony. Everybody else ah! does. No, I'm what? not going to be doing that. Can you tell us what it's like in prison, Tony? Titwank, Tony. Stop. Hey! Oh! Prison's a mixed bag. The structure's quite nice, but <laughs> it's a constant battle against institutionalization, as you can imagine. And obviously, titwanks are quite hard to come by. I'm picking up that you're not alone there, Tony. Titwank, Tony. Hey! Yeah, sorry, my friends are throwing me a surprise party. Good bunch of lads. Okay, well, we're trying to get back to that party as soon as possible. First, let me ask you this. <laughs> Do you feel that the time spent in prison helped to rehabilitate you in any way, Tony? Tit like Tony. <laughs> hey! hey. I'm... So fun. Oh. I think asking that is an oversimplification. It sounds like it's getting quite busy there, Tony, but uh, let's try and soldier on. Since leaving custody, have you been able to find a new job? Yeah, all the boys are here. It's Big Chris, oi, oi. Little Chris, oi, oi. and Vampire Chris. <laughs> <laughs> this one's, yeah? Yep. One sec, love. Shit, when Tony's on the news. That's a police officer. Rehabilitation. Uh, I don't think I she's know. a police officer, should he? I don't know what that really <laughs> is. Inherently unjust. No, but she's dressed up as a police officer. Yes. Yeah, costume. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. Who's this guy? Wait, why is there a clown? We've got Mr. Fancy, oh. <laughs> okay. Not now, fellas. I'm on the news. It's so... <laughs> It seems like we've caught you at a Hello. bad time. <laughs> You've caught all oh, these people at a bad time. Jesus. <laughs> yes, we uh, seem to be losing the signal no here, Tony. Fucking way, let's believe that. Well, we're just trying to get that signal back. I think we. I don't think I want to get signal back. Tony, Tony, I mean, we're looking at it for two seconds. How has this happened, Tony? Well, we seem to have lost our train of thought there a little. <laughs> Hopefully you, the viewer at home, have managed to gain a broader understanding of the serious and complex issues around law and order. <laughs> After the break, Megan will be live with some plucky young thespians. Don't go away. We'll be back after these messages. Are you now uh, seeing why I was looking forward to watching you guys see this blind? <laughs> there is so much to unpack here. Yeah. So much to unpack. Like, and just, I just want to clarify. So, me and Tina don't work on not for broadcast. Obviously, like, it's our first playthrough. We, 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 this isn't a game that we work on. Yeah. So, like, I just want to say, like, <laughs> bro, this is just amazing. And it's it's crazy um and i just <laughs> sure okay yeah that was uh, it's <laughs> it's a lot more chaotic than i ever would have expected <laughs> i told you that that nothing would prepare you right like <laughs> yeah no <laughs> it, it's just like when you're when you're again i feel like i actually we needed to talk, to pause there so i could just like yeah yeah know, yeah get my consciousness because i felt like i was watching myself yeah, out yeah. of body experience <laughs> um just the whole like the, it's, it's the shock factor isn't it it's mm -hmm. you know bleep bleep tony and it's everything else that happened and then what happened with the swan yep and then we have the guy in the in his like gimp costume yep. in in the police in officer's the cupboard yeah 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 the police yeah. officer that was going on about the breakdown of morality. In his cupboard. <laughs> and then being like, the woman being like, oh, it's not Wednesday. Like, he has a calendar in there. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like how is he going to know that? Like, 
I just, I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but is he like, did they kidnap him? Like, what? <laughs> no. I, I, I think it's a living gimp. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. So like, they're, like, they willingly live in that closet? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I mean, you know, who are we to kink shame? Um, right. Also, I, one are. of my one of my dear friends, Bernard, is in chat, and uh, he, he's just said, "I what DJ?" Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, so, are you ready for the game to get a bit darker? Um, I mean, I think so. Dark. What? Watch this advert. One minute. All right. Oh God. Our children. Advance knows this, and we're here to help. The new Advance Go Getters initiative will well, ensure that advanced. every young person enjoys the abundance of benefits that only a true community can provide, while keeping us informed of all the ups and downs to help make things even better. With a vast range of activities available, building the nation's future has never been so rewarding. With the Go-Getters, you can be sure that your children will be well-equipped in the march towards progress. After all, there's nothing better than moving forwards. The Advanced Go-Getters. Forwards. Together. Three. Nothing concerning about that, is there? Black. I'm Megan Hello. Wolf, and on tonight's Culture Spot, I'll be chatting with one of the first beneficiaries of the Assets and Wealth Act, a team of inspiring young people from Scritchford Sixth Form College who today received a grant from Advance to take their play, Hey, Friendship, on a tour of local secondary schools. Welcome to you all. Oh, well, let's God. start with you two, Harriet mm. and Charlotte Winstanley Dash Hamilton. Girls, you must be thrilled. We are, Megan. We're overwhelmed, to be honest. <laughs> and I believe you two are sisters, is that right? Yes, yeah, Charlotte's my oldest. I'm the older, more popular one. <laughs> are Oof. you joking? Harriet and Trey were really the ones who came up with the whole idea. Yeah. So, Harry and I were shooting the breeze in the cafeteria and I said, hey, let's actually do something. So I went to look for a drama teacher. Uh, but she'd been laid off due to budget cuts. Fortunately, this is so painfully I true of England. When I was at university, yeah. so, so I knew the ropes as it were. Oh, right, yes, but you're the maths teacher, aren't you? Uh, yes, that's me, Jeff Algebra, maths teacher. <laughs> maths is really important. Oh, thanks, Steve. Maths is really important. Yeah, thanks, Steve. As is theatre. It's one of the oldest art forms in history, Aristotle. Made. I just think that when we travel around all these problem schools and the poor kids see us, they say, hey, I Oof. really want to be like those attractive kids. And that's a very beautiful and powerful thing. We touch our audiences and they oh. touch us right back. I no. suppose with a surname like Algebra, there was really only one choice of career for me. <laughs> <laughs> My wife, Angela, and I, we often laugh about it. <laughs> Angela Algebra. Yes. <laughs> We just want to bring a bit of song and joy into people's lives. And teach people about the difficult issues. The issues in the play are what really matter. And I think you're going to be showing us an extract from this play, aren't you? Yeah. That's right. And I just want to point out, chat, they have no idea what's coming. Who's having some troubles at school. Her character yeah. doesn't actually have a name, yeah? Because in a way, she's like all, all of us. us. It's like a metaphor. Maybe she's you at home, or like, maybe she's you, Megan. Maths is really important. Yeah, thanks, Steve. <laughs> Put it in, coach. Yes, thanks, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I'm going to have a little chat with your teacher while you run off and get ready. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> That's it, that way. <clears throat> now, I do want to point out, everybody, I have no rhythm, so, Jeff, and I suck at this bit. About the uh, two days ago, my, my the wife does these bits for me. The school. Now, the headmaster <laughs> thought it was all a prank, but his secretary retrieved it from his bin and brought it to me. Wow, how did you react? I also threw it in the bin. <laughs> but then Harriet and Trey rescued it, and uh, they, they, they rang the number at the bottom of the page, and next thing you know, we're on tour. Wow. Well, I think we can all guess which way you'll be voting from now on. <laughs> Do you know what? It's funny, because Angela and I don't usually vote. We, we're not very political. I'm a mathematician, of course, and she's a paraplegic, mainly. But we did used to watch that Peter Clements DIY show back in the day, and so we thought, uh, why not? Let's have a go with this old democracy thing. A 
okay. And here we bally well are. <laughs> Good stuff. Fucking brilliant. So let's have a oh. look at a short section of Hey, Friendship. Shanice, are you ready for your soul to leave your body and for the worst memories of growing up in, in high school in England to come back to you? No, this is why I left. Dear Diary, I'm not sure I can take another day at this school. Another day of tears. 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 Another day of fears. Fears. But still I walk the corridors alone. Alone. Um, dreading what might be around every corner. What's around the corner? What's around the corner? What's around the corner? Oh, hi, Gary. Oh, heavens no! It's Gary the Fist! Gary, Gary the, the Fist! Going somewhere, little first year? Great! I've been looking for some poor victim to bully all morning. But will this make me feel better about my violent father? Violent father. Excuse me, I'm late for maths. It's my favourite subject. And so Maths important. is important. <laughs> <laughs> maths is for losers. What? Maths is for losers. My arm's stuck, coach. Keep going for fuck's sake. <laughs> right, uh, uh, maths is for losers. Now, give me your lunch money. Double lunch for me today, but... Why am I only truly happy when I'm eating? Not today, Gary the Fist. What do you mean, not today? Who are you? Oh, my arm's free coat. Brilliant, keep going. Oh, right, uh, uh, who are you to stand up to me? I'm Gary the Fist, and you're just a sad little girl with two gay dads who's all alone. That's where you're wrong, Gary the Fist. These are my two new friends. Vanessa is captain of the netball team. Yeah. And Blake owns a motorbike. Yeah. But, but, I can't <laughs> fight all three of you. And I don't have any friends of my own. Again, I have no rhythm. Were you, were you ready for an actual musical number? <laughs> Dead yet, Shanice. <laughs> Wait. Hey, this is this is realistic. This is high this school is, in UK? Is, <laughs> is that what you're saying? This is... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Life's pretty hard on a council estate. 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 Shanice's face. Stop. Life's pretty hard on a council estate. Life's pretty hard on a council estate. It's so damn hard on a council estate. Oh, 
Thankfully, that's all we have time for tonight on the National Nightly News. <laughs> Join us tomorrow night for all the headlines from across the country. My name's Jeremy Dalton. Have a peaceful night. And we're out. Oh, that was brilliant. <laughs> what the literal fuck was that? I believe <laughs> that was art. I believe I've got a 14-inch cock, but it doesn't make it so. What? <laughs> 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 Someone please get these twats out of my studio. <laughs>
you still chuckle to yourself occasionally. Just as you get to the good bit, the bit where Candy decides to investigate alone, your 14-year-old son interrupts. He wants to go to a friend's house. He looks at you in a way only a child can, pleading, but somehow defiant. What would you like to do? Mm, 14. What time is it right now? Uh, is, it like, is it nighttime? It, evening. Time? Like, it, evening. Yeah, yeah. Like. I don't know about going out to a friend's house this late. <laughs> You tell Charlie no he oh, See where okay. like my uh, father's instruction would have been like, yeah, as long as you're at school tomorrow morning on time, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> really? No, my parents would have been like Go to bed at nine nine PM. So like eleven is very really late. Yeah, I don't I don't know. So it's Chris so Chris is Chris is oh, the, the sibling and Charlie is your son. Right, okay. Chris is the guy we denied the passport to. Oh, girl. Oh, oh yes. sorry. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Person. <laughs> and Sam is our spouse. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. So Sam's upset with us. Went to go pick up Chris's stuff. Things. And now Charlie wants to go to his mate's house. Mm. See, I feel like both of these. Uh, like either one is I feel like it's gonna be bad right so it's like you let him go obviously logically speaking him being let go and probably be home by 11 we have no idea what's gonna happen right but what but about the crime on the streets your neighbors are dangerous there they are <laughs> or if we tell them no then the child's gonna be like oh my god you're the worst <laughs> person I hate you I hate you I'm going to my room yeah Mm. What do you think? I mean, we want it to be chaotic, so I'd just be like, alright, see you later. Yeah, I, I guess the, our character so far has been very, like, yeah, what's up? Like, very easygoing, so. Yeah. It's just like, <laughs> I don't care. Remember, yeah, no you, you haven't heart. really cared about your kids so far, let's be honest. That's true, that's true. Okay, let's continue the personality then. So. Yeah. I mean, I would be definitely worried because of the whole like you know like the safe on the streets and the neighbors are scary and the the sam's already mad at you so if something happens to your well anyway doesn't matter we're going chaos okay well, go ahead yeah <laughs> oh, yeah clearly surprised watch my movie he practically races out of the door you doze in front of the movie waiting up for his return you start to wake to the sound of tv static it's gone midnight and there's no sign of Charlie or See? Sam. Uh -oh. Of course, something. Bad. It's a school <laughs> night, and a pro and he promised so you go over there and march him home. You're tired and in a bad mood. You trust Charlie? He'll be home soon. <sighs> oh, this makes me so uncomfortable. But I, I know the the good person would go and get the kid, of course. But uh... is that chaotic? No, it's not. But it feels so wrong. But we're doing chaotic, right, Shanice? We <laughs> 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 stressed. We wouldn't normally do this. No, people. It doesn't feel right. But I, I don't know. It's I find it so hard to play as a bad guy in in, in like games where choices matter or like the evil. Yep. You know what I mean? Evil yeah. choices are so hard. I've never done a Caesar's but... Legion run in Fallout New Vegas. I can't bring myself to do it. They're too evil. I know exactly what you mean. Um, the problem with this game is you don't have a clue who the good guys and the bad guys are. Yeah. It's true. Remember, no right or wrong. Well, this feels like there's a right or wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty hard. <laughs> No right or wrong, only consequences. I would, I would say, you know, you're tired and in a bad mood. Like, yeah. just let him deal with it. Like, let the kid deal with it, right? Yeah. Uh, he's old enough; he can figure it out. Yeah, he's fourteen. 
<laughs> I'm not actually thinking that, but you know, yeah. this is the personality of our chaotic character. He, he's yeah, he's old good. enough to, to join the army now, you know. We're deliberately being, um, it's like no one forces you to always be chaotic. Like, we own, like, the only reason we're doing it is because I'm interested in, like, what, what happens. The severity of my yeah. consequences will bring me. So, the craziest the worst consequence. Yeah. yeah, it's one night. What is the worst consequence? He's got to start taking responsibility for his own decisions sometime. It's the worst that could happen. What's the worst that could happen? I mean. <laughs> oh, look, day 16, a call from school. Oh. Your, fam your family answer machine crackles into life. You would could be calling while you and your spouse were at work. Good afternoon. This is a message for the Winston family. It's Miss Smith calling regarding your child's, your son, Charles. The tinny old woman goes on. I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for it. But he wasn't in school today. We haven't heard from you that he would be absent. I'd like to remind you that we do require all absences to be authorised in advance or in exceptional circumstances for parents to ring first thing in the morning. Please see to it that it doesn't happen again. Thank you. Goodbye. Uh, I think we made a mistake. <laughs> but... Someone has some explaining to do. No, there are no mistakes, only consequences. Yeah. But... Oh, so many days. Oh, wow, yeah. Uh, yeah, the game runs over many years. I will let you know now. Uh, a tight Christmas. You can't help but crack a smile as you look around the table. The snow has settled on the grass outside. Kids are pulling a cracker while your elderly mother tries to keep her eyes open. It always have a soft spot for Christmas. You're sitting at the head of the table now. Your dad's place. It's been a tense afternoon. Everyone can feel it. It's the first time you've seen Chris since you refused to part with your passport. It's a big change for Sam. The two siblings used to be inseparable. Christmas is usually such a nice time of year. The clatter of cutlery is all that can be heard as Chris stares pointedly at you. What would you like to say? Are you having a nice Christmas, Grandma? <laughs> would you be saying that to Chris, though? No, you're that 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 you will say that to your grandma. But, oh, like, okay. Yeah, turning around to Grandma and ignoring Chris. Like, so nothing's that, wrong. Right. Egg. Yeah, I, I thought he was being mean. Like, just like, have a good Christmas, Grandma! Like, really passive-aggressive. Like, <laughs> looking at Chris. Um, make, wouldn't making a toast kind of be a little... chaotic? In this situation? Because everybody's... Because it's like an awkward uncomfortable moment and then you're like I don't know <laughs> yeah what do you think I I I think I would make a toast I think yeah okay yeah yeah I think so you stand and raise your glass Merry Christmas everyone I'm glad we're all here there are murmurs of cheers much clinking of glasses. Chris doesn't move. Yeah, we're all here. My thanks to you. Chris, sighs Sam. Come on now, it's Christmas. Can we put that behind us? What are you gonna say? I wasn't talking to you. Oh boy! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we're playing chaotic yeah. evil. <laughs> Chris stands drunkenly. Oh, no. What do you say? Comes the hissed <laughs> response. Enough. Sorry. Both of you, Sam insists. Sorry. 
Did I stutter? <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Chris launches right. themselves at you across the table, upsetting a meager plate of potatoes, which smashes on the hard floor. You're taken aback as Chris's fist swings, catches you in the temple. Your mother shrieks as blood bursts from above your eye. Oh. You scramble towards Chris before Sam screams, Enough! Everyone freezes. You haven't heard Sam's raised voice for a very long time, and it seems to have worked. The room is now still and silent, but for your panting and the whimpering of your poor mother. Without another word, Chris stalks from the room. Your children can't bear bring themselves to look at you as you sit back down at the head of the table. Merry fucking Christmas. I just got a new, uh, uh, what's it called? Achievement. Uh, achievement. I hadn't Sweet. apparently fought with Chris before. Um, <laughs> you look welcome. up to see Charlie nudging his sister. What about your holiday? When you going to ask for... Susie interrupts him. It doesn't matter. Clearly no one wants what we want. And with a clatter of plates, she's gone, leaving you with a silent son and a traumatised mother. Merry fucking Christmas. Oh, interesting. What? Huh, I didn't know that could happen. What? So, normally at that point, Susie would ask you if you're willing to pay for her to go on a, um, a, a, a long trip. Um, like go traveling, basically. Right. And, um, she didn't. And Wait, whether or not you send, tra send her travelling has some quite major ramifications. Um, interesting. I didn't know that. I didn't know that that question could not come up. I, like even the amount that I've played this, like I've seen seven endings, I think. Even the amount Still I've played this, I, yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> That's awesome. So, day sixty-three. A welcome windfall. You're leafing through the pile of accumulated post. Each new bill pulls on your guts like a lead weight, until a flash of blue makes you pause. Recognising the teal advance logo on the envelope, you tear, you tear it open. Dear Winston residents, thank you for sending us your passports for approval. Huh? We can now confirm their receipt and validation for the new Assets and Wealth Redemption Scheme. Hopefully this will make the last month of arguments with Sam worth it. As such, much. it's our pleasure to enclose a cheque, which we hope you will see as a symbol, not only of our gratitude to you, but of our unwavering commitment to creating a society free of inequality. The throbbing of your fresh, speed-induced paper cut is the only reason you can believe you're awake. <laughs> a check! And a sizable one at that. Chris was right. Advance really are redistributing wealth. So if you watch, our current wealth uh, should change in a moment. Uh, we will continue to strive for the betterment of this nation and its people. Forwards and together. Oh no, sorry. Forwards together. Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement. The weight of your financial burdens lessens slightly. It's bliss. Um. And and yeah, it's interesting, isn't it, DJ, that they've ended up on a slightly less chaotic path by being chaotic. It's quite interesting. Yeah. yeah. You've avoided some chaos by doing some chaos. It's, it's interesting. So yeah. if you didn't gather doing... in that last bit, had you given Chris your passport, no check. So now yeah. if you look at our current wealth, instead of being in debt, we're now well off. 
That so would let's not just have happened. Be selfish and don't help your family. <laughs> yeah, if if we had helped Chris, we would not have gotten that check. Yeah. Ah. Because we wouldn't have had our passports, so we'd have been ineligible 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 for the scheme. I mean, in a way, it kind of makes sense. Like you're sacrificing your passport. It's quite a big deal. You're, 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 oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so, day seventy-two, a long weekend. Why does this zip? Why does the zip on this damn place never close? It's your anniversary. Every way, yeah. You and Sam go away for the weekend. Usually camping. <laughs> You're not made of money. You've been looking forward to it for ages. Finally getting some time alone together where you can forget about the noise of life. No kids, no work, just a bit of romance and some peace and quiet. The zip finally gives up the battle and you drag the bulging suitcase down the stairs. The answering machine is blinking on the hall table. Good evening, Alex. This is Mr. Bozeman. I'm calling to inform you that you will be required to work this weekend. Your heart sinks. Some information has come to light concerning the rising tensions between our nation and foreign powers. And the National and Nightly News team will be working around the clock to ensure we break the story first. Needless to say, I will expect your attendance tomorrow morning, 8am sharp. Have a pleasant evening, Alex. Shock turns to annoyance, and then fury. What are you going to tell Sam? Sam comes downstairs, brimming with excitement. Kissing you, they grab the car keys from the dish and start to load your bags into the back. What are you going to do? Ignore the message you need this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what we do? Being selfish so far has gone well for us. We should probably continue that way, right? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> choosing between the bus or the bay. I like that. That's a good line. Yep. <laughs> I... I mean, you know. You guys know what I'm going to pick. Ignore the <laughs> message. You need the I'm weekend. Gonna... Yeah. But then, if we ignore the message, like, is the game going to be over because we... No. Okay, cool. Because I don't, I don't want to end early. Like, yeah, you know yeah, what no, I mean? No, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, ignore. I, I'm going away this weekend. I had a book. I booked my holiday. Uh, it got approved, so I'm going away. Or you could be like, too late. I'm already out the door. I never saw the message. <laughs> Basically. Oh, what the message? I never got <laughs> it. <laughs> so we're ignoring it. I mean, it. they can't expect. Yeah, I guess they can't. Yeah, ignoring it. Deep. Message deleted. What was that? Comes a voice from behind you. Nothing important, you reply as you put on your coat, adrenaline coursing through your body. Grabbing Sam around the way the waist, you practically slam the front door. Might as well enjoy your time off. You're gonna pay for it on Monday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Day 75. An unwelcome return. When you get to work Monday morning, you get some sour looks from your exhausted colleagues. A note sits waiting for you. The immaculate script is blood red. I am very disappointed, Winston. Was it worth it? Yeah. <laughs> was it? Went camping. It was good. I had a good time. Day 98. A permission slip. Her wealth is still going up, I mean... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, your son, Charlie, hovers at your elbow as you read. Do you find yourself striving to achieve? Are you an active member of the team? Do you like reaping the benefits of cooperation? Join the advanced go-getters today. Forwards, together. This doesn't sound like the youth club he told you about. Charlie grabs the flyer from you and thrusts a form into your hand. So I can walk straight there from school and Ben's sister can drop herself after. So you won't have to do anything. Would you like to allow your son to join the advanced go-getters or not? 
seems really excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. Yeah. Obviously, the advanced go getters is. is, is yes. Proper <laughs> sketch. Uh, I mean, or... I mean, there are no historical allegories in any way, right? For a group of young people being set up by the government like that. Nope, no, none. No, nothing. No. Um, <laughs> or, or we could make our son unhappy and refuse to sign the form. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I feel like either way is going to be crazy. Remember, no wrong choices, just consequences. <laughs> But, but no, there are wrong choices oh, oh, when gosh. things go bad. <laughs> oh gosh, are people in chat really only just making that connection? Oh, I'm what? sorry. Oh, oh, uh, <laughs> about the youth club then. What it might slightly oh. be based on. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Um, oh. <laughs> I'll explain later, don't worry. Uh, so... Mm. What? What are, you Mommy, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? I'm relying on you. Uh, I'm just trying to understand what's going on with the chat and you're my, um, you're my chaotic partner. I need you. Okay, chaos, chaos. What's the chaos way to go? Okay, here's what I'm thinking. So far, he's been like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, go see your friend, whatever. I didn't, you know, like things like that with the kid. So that's why it's like, oh, you want to do it? Yeah, whatever, go ahead. It also could be like a supportive parent being like, oh, you're so passionate about something. Yeah, of course, go and strive and whatever. But I don't know. For what reason would this character have to refuse? I guess to... <sighs> what is chaotic? <laughs> to be unsupportive towards the kid's interest? Or... To not care and just sign whatever he hands you. <laughs> what is working out? I don't yeah. know. I feel like for the for the whole purpose of this playthrough and the story, mm-hmm. I feel like we should sign the permission slip. Yeah. Just because I want to know what's going to happen next. Yeah, let's go in a pig, right? Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, we'll just sign it. We're going to oh. sign it. We're going to yeah. let the kid join the advanced go getters. Oh. Yeah. Your son is thrilled. It's heartwarming to see him so passionate about becoming an active part of the community. This can only be a good thing. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't like this. Just laugh. <laughs> Alan James. A free ticket. Some guys at work gave them to me. I can't go. Sam stands in front of you, brandishing two tickets. You see the title in bold letters. Alan James is right in front of you. I'm really unsure. What do you think? Should we go? Yeah. <laughs> Just immediate. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> Free tickets. <laughs> free tickets are free tickets. He's a character. It'll be hilarious if nothing else. Let's go. The show is entertaining, but much less funny than you thought. He's a powerful public speaker, and something about it sticks in your mind. Mm-hmm. Lying in bed that night, wide awake long after Sam's breathing turns heavy, it hits you. It was the crowd. Not laughing, but roaring. It's got pants. Oh. Whoa. After a particularly long day at work, you come home to find the post sorted into piles Sam has taken to doing recently. Most of it is the usual rubbish. A letter with the increasingly familiar advance logo and urgent respond immediately plastered on the front in a correspondingly urgent red font grabs your attention. Best to get it over with. 
Dear Winston residents, this letter is to inform you that the advanced government has taken another step forward in our fight against inequality. By nationalising the largest private corporations and redistributing their resources amongst the citizens of this great country, the Partnership Bonds Programme ensures that wealth created by the people is delivered to the people. You don't remember this being on the manifesto. Every household will become a partner in one of three carefully selected institutions chosen by advance for consistent high performance and financial security. Please note, all returns are based on public opinion and cannot be guaranteed. Please select one of the following. The Eye of the Beholder, Incorporated, whether it's cosmetics, clothing or couture, we see the beauty in all our customers. Deals Deals Limited, it's always a steal from Crazy Neil, or Pleasure Corp. Our business is your pleasure, from sport to travel, or even just some you time. You can't say pleasure without leisure. <laughs> I like that line. That was good. I mean, I'm gonna go with my boy Neil. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the gameplay yeah. mechanic around this is that um, the more you play the adverts of the one that you're signed up with, the more wealth you get, essentially. Oh, the Neil all day. Yeah. Yeah. This does make sense. Thank you for making your selection. Please return this form using the envelope provided. You will receive a report from your partnerships in three to six working months. Starting Seems... to get rid of Yeah, starting to get rich. We're doing all right. Seems even advance can't defeat the quagmire of governmental <laughs> bureaucracy. Future of this nation is in partnership. Forwards, together. Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement. Just how much influence could you have? Oh, all of it. Oh, You're yes, having influence right now. now. All of you in chat, be chaotic. This is going to surprise you, I suspect. You know what time it is? Time you're gonna watch? Uh, it's, okay. it's, uh, in, in Central Europe, it's 9pm. We've been streaming for two hours already. Oh, wow. Time Are we really? Flew. Yes, really. Very we genuinely, Shanice. We, we have come to the end of our, our allotted time. No way. Yeah. Like, absolutely it, seriously. <laughs> like, it's... Uh, that did not it, feel it, like two hours. <laughs> no, not no. at all, right? Oh, my goodness. Um, now, ladies and gentlemen, um, this is uh, the first time we've done this with the three of us. Uh, this is uh, the start of something that's going to be happening every two weeks. Um, we're going to be streaming. Um, won't necessarily be all three of us each time. And in fact, uh, there's a fourth person, Rosie, uh, who may be showing up from time to time as well. Um, but basically, every two weeks, um, we are going to be streaming uh, on Twitch and on YouTube. Um, and we're going to be playing a whole load of uh, different games. But I suspect we might come back to this run because these two have been having an awful lot of fun. And I think they'd like to continue with it. Um, yeah. So it is almost certain uh, that we will be coming back to this um, in the very near future and continuing it. Um, I'm not certain if it'll be in two weeks. There might be something we, we have set for them. Um, but there will be a schedule going up uh, on the Twitch page and on the YouTube community page. Over the next week or so, we need to finalise some details with our schedule just to make sure that we've got it all right for everybody. Um, and then we will uh, put that out and we'll let you let you know uh, precisely when we're doing things. And obviously, like this time, we'll let you know on the, the, the Discord for the relevant titles and, and all of that sort of stuff. Um, but, yeah, unfortunately... We we have come to our, our end already. We we have already spent two hours on this, um, which is yeah. astonishing. Um, first things first, I just want to say thank you to Shanice and Tina for for joining me for this and for for coming and taking part and um, being part of the stream. It's uh, it's it's really great to have you guys along, and and this has been a huge amount of fun. And thank you for letting me subject this to you blind. Um, <laughs> I think now you can see why I subjected you to it blind, right? Yes. Yeah, I, absolutely. When we, we we were having discussion of like what we wanted to play, like this was the one that was like, oh yeah, like I I, you know, I want to give it a go. It's a really cool concept. And now I'm just like, what have I gotten myself into? But I can't look away. 
Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and time flew. Yes. Uh -huh. Really, really did. Especially when you consider you, you guys weren't playing. You were just watching, no, right? No. Like, yeah. Yeah. And and yeah, um, it does show the 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 depth of this game. And for those of you that don't know, if you're watching and you're thinking about picking this up, um, not for broadcast has 14 different endings. Um, there is a huge amount of game in there. And like you saw this evening, even with the amount I've played it, I've seen a couple of bits in this run that I've never seen before. Um, <laughs> there is a huge, huge amount of game in there. Um, and really, really is worth uh, looking into. And the DLCs are really good fun too. Uh, and we have uh, another one coming out at some point. More details soon, yes. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the time loop DLC is still to come. Um, so... With that all being said, Athena, Shanice, thank you so much. Everyone that's watching, thank you so much. Jackie in chat, who has both been moderating and giving away copies of Graveyard Keeper for us. Thank you very much, Jackie. You're amazing. Um, and everybody that was watching, you too are amazing. Uh, do either of you have anything you want to say before we finish? Just a big thank you for inviting us to, to do these live streams and... and regularly from now from now on too it's been so much fun and yeah and thank you all of you for watching and hanging out with us and giving us little tidbits of hints and you know <laughs> keep, keeping the mystery up and making us confused <laughs> it was so much fun thank you no it's been really great and should I can't wait yo chat has just been fun like it has been an absolute time um shout out to to Tina, my chaotic partner in crime, as always. You, you're the one who goes chaotic. It's it's like a re <laughs> you know we bounce off of each other, right? So <laughs> is that the time? Oh, sorry, I gotta go. Um, <laughs> you yeah. started it. I'm just bouncing back off you. <laughs> yeah, Tina. Oh, Tina dear. is our is our lawful good, and I am the chaotic evil. Um, exactly, but no, yeah. Thank you so much for letting us hang out play it was great to meet all of you guys in chat thank you for being wonderful as always and i can't wait to play more like i'm gonna be hassling dj for a, a hot minute to be like when are we gonna stream again so <laughs> yeah. soon. it might be sooner than <laughs> yeah <laughs> i suspect so <laughs> <laughs> right well look everybody this has been amazing thank you so much for joining us we will be back um two weeks time guaranteed um it'll be the same place same time um so we're going to be going from seven o'clock central europe um and uh we'll be doing that every two weeks on a wednesday evening so come and join us you never know what you might see have a lovely lovely evening everybody we're gonna di disappear now be amazing be good Bye. and we Bye. will see you all next time bye bye